In this video, we are going to solve work problems. Itong ika-61, 62, and 63. Yung iba naman ay sa next na video na lang. At itong question na ito ay hindi ko na lang i-mention kung kanino galing kasi naka-private message ito. Although, meron na itong na-post sa ating FB group. Now, isa-isahin natin ito. Number 61. Ed can do a job in four days. When Ed and Mayday work together, it would take them two and one-third days. Find the number of days if Mayday, Mayday will work alone. If you haven't answered this yet, try to answer this first before you will see our solutions. Madali lang ito. Huwag nyo lang pangunahan ng takot. Kesyo math na naman. Madali lang ito. So, isa-isahin natin. Ed can do a job in four days. So, ito yung si Ed. He can do one job in four days. When Ed and Mayday work together, it would take them two and one-third days. So, ang two and one-third days, i-convert muna natin into mixed fraction. Three times two equals six plus one is equal to seven. So, that is seven over three days if they work together. So, together, sulat natin dito. If they work together, uh, matapos nila ang isang trabaho in seven and over three days. So, therefore, itong si May Day, i-add natin yan siya. Kasi kung sabihin natin work together, so i-add natin sila. Ito naman si May Day. Isang trabaho ay hindi pa natin yung let M be that number of days na matrabaho ni May Day. So, if they work together, i-add natin si Ed at saka si May Day, if they work together, nasa problem na mismo, nasa given, na they will finish one job in seven over three days. Ito muna ang ayusin natin. This is one divided by seven over three. So, division of fraction. Kopyahin si 1, ang division maging multiplication at reciprocal sa divisor natin. So, itong 7 over 3, magiging 3 over 7. 1 lang naman yang binomultiply niya. So, therefore, this is 3 over 7. So, ito ay i-change na natin. This is 3 over 7. Ang next na gagawin natin, we will multiply the entire equation by 4m. So, mayroon yatang background. I, I, I just hope na hindi nyo map, ma, marinig yung background natin kasi mayroong nag-aayos dito sa loob ng accommodation namin. So, anyway, i-multiply natin yung buong equation para yung denominators natin ay uh, ma-cancel out ba? So, 4m. 4m times 1 fourth, makancel out na yung 4, so ang matitira na lang ay m. Plus, 4m times 1 over m, yung m naman ang makancel out, so ang matitira mo na lang ay yung 4. Equals 4m times 3, and that is 3 over 7. So, numerator to numerator, always remember na lahat ng mga whole numbers mayroon yung 1 as denominator. So, dapat mayroon kayong basic knowledge on how to multiply fractions. So, this is 12m over 7. Next, since 7 pang divide sa 12 over m, pang multiply naman siya dito sa kabila. So, i-multiply natin sa m plus 4 itong 7 na ito. So, therefore, 12m na lang dito. 7 times m is equals to 7m. 7 times 4 is equals to 28. And that is equals to 12m. Next, ipagsama natin yung mga like terms. So, dito natin ilagay yung karugtong. So, this is 28 equals 12m. Since 7m pang add sa 28, kapag i-transfer mo na sa kabila, magiging minus 7m. 
So this is 12m minus 7m and that is equals to 5m. So 28 equals 5m. Now, para mahanap natin yung value ni m, i-isolate natin si m dito. Since si 5 pang multiply sa m, pang divide siya sa 28. In other words, mag-divide tayo ng 5 to both sides para makansil out si 5 dyan at m na lang ang natira. Yun, ganun yun. So anyway, wait, delete natin para mas simple lang. So, since si 5 ay pang multiply sa m, pang divide ngayon siya sa 28. 28 divided by 5, isa-isahin natin ito. 28 divided by 5, ilan bang 5 sa 28? 5. 5 times 5 is equals to 25. 28 minus 25 and that is equals to 3. Itong 5 na yan, yan yung whole number natin. Itong 3, yan yung numerator. At ito namang 5, yan yung denominator. So, ang sagot natin ay 5 and 3 fifth days. Or kung gusto nyong ipagpatuloy natin, pagpatuloy natin ito. Mag-add pa tayo ng isa pang zero. Pero lagyan mo na ng decimal at i-align mo sa taas. Mag-drop ka ng isang zero. 30 divided by 5 and that is 6. 6 times 5 is equals to 30. Zero na yan siya. So, therefore, either 5 and 3 fifth days or 5.6 days. Find the number of days if May Day will work alone. Ang sagot dito ay 5 and 3 fifth days or 5.6 days. Now next, dito na tayo sa number 62. Let's read the problem. Mike can repaint a doghouse three times faster than Miguel. If they work together, so pareho lang yung... yung Problem natin sa number 1, yung unang, itong unang sinagutan natin. Wala siyang pinagkaiba. If they work together, it will take them 4 days to complete the job. The question is, how long would it take for Mike to do the repainting alone? Pariha lang yun. Kaya never memorize the answer, kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. So, ngayon, dun muna tayo mag-focus kung ano yung given. Now, let M be the number of days Mike can do the repainting alone. Now, ito si Mike. Kung i-add mo sa trabaho or if they work together kay Miguel, if they work together, it will take them four days to complete the job. Si Mike ay 3 times faster ni Miguel. Therefore, isang trabaho matapos ni Mike, let M be that number of days na matapos ni Mike. Plus, itong si Miguel ay, remember, si Mike ay faster 3 times kay Miguel. So, ang isulat natin dito ay katumbas sa tatlong trabaho ni Mike. Si Miguel, katumbas sa tatlong trabaho ni Mike. Kaya, 1 over 3M. And that is equals to isang trabaho kung they work together, matapos nila in 4 days. Ito na yung equation sa problem na ito. Ulitin lang natin bago tayo mag-proceed. Mike can repaint a doghouse three times faster kay Miguel. In other words, isang trabaho over M, kasi let M be that number of days na ma-repaint ni Mike yung doghouse alone. While si Miguel, three times faster kasi si Mike. So, tatlong Mike, yung number of days ni Mike, ay katumbas sa isang trabaho lang trabaho ni Miguel. Kasi faster man si Mike. Now, ang buong equation na ito ay i-multiply natin into 12M. Bakit 12M, ma'am? Kasi hinanapan natin ng least common denominators ito. Or, sabihin na natin yung, yung LCM LCM ng 3 and 4, which is 12. 
Now, 12M times 1 over M, cancel out na si M, so this is equals to 12. Now, 12M times 1 over 3M, makancel ulit yung M. So, 12 divided by 3 and that is equals to 4. 4 na lang siya. Equals 12M times 1 fourth or 1 fourth of 12 is equals to 3. Nandyan si M. So, this is 3M. 12 plus 4 is equals to 16. Since si 3 pang multiply sa M, Again, kung pang multiply si 3 sa m, kung i-transfer natin yan, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 16. So, 16 over 3 is equals to number of days ni Mike. Isa-isahin natin pag divide itong 16 na ito. Ilang 3 ba sa 16? 5. 5 times 3 is equals to 15. 16 minus 15 is equals to 1. So, therefore, Itong 5, yan yung whole number natin. Si 1, yan yung numerator. Si 3, yan yung denominator. So, therefore, ang sagot sa tanong na how long would it take for Mike to do the repainting alone? 5 and 1 third days. Pagpasensyahan kasi may background tayong maintenance ngayon. So, itong next na, que na question ay ilagay na lang natin sa next na video. Abangan nyo na lang sa next na video, pero basahin muna natin. Two inlet pipes can fill an empty swimming pool in three days and six days, respectively. A pump can empty, so ay yung isa ay fill. Yung ito naman ay maka-empty. A full Pool in four days. The question is, how long will it take to fill the empty pool if both pipes are open and the pump is on? Abangan sa next na video. Thank you for watching and God bless.